Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in this new UFT1 release. First up, when running tests on Digital Lab cloud browsers, you can now watch the test run on your application in a remote access window. And you can run tests on Firefox and Edge cloud browsers in addition to Chrome. Next, you can now run more tests in Docker containers. In Windows Docker containers, you can run web tests and AI-based web tests using headless Chrome browsers. To run multiple API tests, you can use the new lightweight Linux-based Docker image. On Bamboo, you can run local UFT1 tests as any Windows user, not only the currently logged in user. You can also add a script task to your build plan to handle releasing licenses if your plan is aborted in the middle of the test run. When new AI object models are available, you can update your local AI object model. This provides more advanced AI object identification without waiting for a UFT1 upgrade. The Remote AI Object Detection Service is now available in the full UFT1 installation package. This provides the packaging needed for the remote AI object detection service to recognize text inside table cells. AI-based test steps are now represented more specifically in the keyword view. As always, this UFT1 release supports new versions of Chrome, Chromium Edge, and Firefox, new AutoPass license server versions, and many new technology versions. For example, AG Grid, Bamboo Servers, Git, SAP, and more. For more new features, check out the Help Center.